have an absolutely horrible idea. Hello, hello, I'm Dakota May, and welcome back to Paper Hats. It is a gorgeous day in Everbloom today. The birds are singing, the flowers are blooming, the copper is aging, and I have a absolutely terrible business idea. You see, now that we have a house, we're gonna need a, a steady stream of income for maintenance and repairs and a valet and a butler and a chauffeur and uh, all that requires money and the detective agency, it's um not very lucrative, shall we say. So let's head over to the shopping district. Um, how do I explain what this shop is? I. <laughs> I don't know. This is such a horrible idea. I don't even know how to explain it. Maybe I should rewind and say, well, the the paper hats agreed at the beginning of the season that we were going to stay in early game for longer this time. So the end has been closed. That's why nobody has shulker boxes. Nobody has elytra. But the end is going to be opening up very soon. And I am thinking of a new business venture to help meet some demand. So that's the, the plot I've claimed right there. It's right in the middle of the shopping district. It's located right next to Dan's monster shop that he built. And this shop is going to help people with end busting. So we're going to sell gunpowder to help people with end busting. And I kind of realized that gunpowder kind of looks like ashes. And what sells ashes but a crematorium? I told you this was an absolutely horrible idea. I take- this is awful. So I've got all of the materials for our crematorium here. And, uh, we hit up Dan's shop for some fuel to- to create our ashes. Um, this is such a bad idea. <laughs> this is such a bad idea. So, our crematorium isn't just going to be you, you put your diamonds in a chest and then you get your ashes. No, no, we're going to deliver an authentic crematorium experience. And so that's why we have to dig out this big hole to be able to fit our redstone underneath the build. And also, I really like free dirt. Free dirt is great. Oh, that is so much free dirt. I don't know if you've noticed, but the house is totally floating and we're going to use up all of that dirt. <laughs> But here's our hole for the redstone, uh, so uh, I guess it's time to start building then. Let's roll that building time lapse. So, what I neglected to mention, I was talking to my brother about it. My my brother is possibly uh, uh, more more twisted than I am, and we we put our heads together, and and we 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 came up with we came up with this. <laughs> It is a, a drive through crematorium bakery. I told you it was a terrible idea. <laughs> it was the worst idea I've ever seen. But we built it. We built it in Minecraft. Okay, so we got hitching posts just in case we need hitching posts. But everything is horse accessible. <laughs> so the idea is you pay your diamond in here. Um... There's going to be a minecart. I, I haven't quite finished the redstone yet, but there's going to be a minecart right here and you, you, you put your loved ones in and you say goodbye and then it sends them off to, on their final journey. And then you can watch them cook. <laughs> Over here through the window, the, uh, the smelters are going to fire up. 
and um, then uh, please remember to collect the ashes before you go. This is terrible. This is terrible. Okay, we we need to get a couple of more things in order to test out the redstone and make sure everything works. So to add to the complications of this being a horrible idea, I don't actually have a source of gunpowder. And since we're doing the dragon fight so soon, I wanted to get this done. And uh, I, I don't have the time to build a gunpowder farm. So I contacted uh, uh, one of the other paper hats, Mr. Gold, who does have a gunpowder farm. And he, after starting laughing so hard, he started crying. <laughs> when I explained to him what I needed the gunpowder for, he agreed uh, to become our supplier. So I'm just going to hitch the mule up. Uh, actually, no, I'll bring the mule through. Um, but I don't know if he has any spoilers at his base. So I'm just going to load up with gunpowder and then I'll meet you guys back. So I loaded the system up with gunpowder. I finished up the redstone and I think we're ready for our very first test of the system just to make sure that everything's all crematorium-ish and also to make sure that the right amount of ashes are going to get dispersed so let's make sure this works first we'll just pop that in there and then if I can line up to hit the button <laughs> it's a little tricky on a horse not gonna lie <laughs> there we go <laughs> Perfect. Okay, that works. Awesome. And that is technically two separate minecarts that are doing that. Um, they are completely separate systems. So the paper hats are going to be able to put literally anything into the minecart uh, to to cremate, and it will be it will be a hundred percent fine. It won't jam up the system at all. So let's make sure that the diamond works. Do, 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 do. Awesome. Okay, the song plays. And... Please remember to collect the ashes. I'm not sure entirely how long it takes this, but... Oh! Oh, that's a problem. It only gave me 32. Oh, uh-oh. All right. We gotta fix that. Okay, let's try this again. It looked like it was just a missing comparator, so hopefully that should be a nice and easy fix. <laughs> oh. Oh, I still had the stack in here. Okay, yeah, so then it did give me the correct amount. I'll just, you know, I wanna try that again. I'll clean out my inventory this time though. Let's do it again just to make sure it is indeed spinning out a whole stack. Okay, perfect. That is exactly what I was looking for. One stack of gunpowder and two cookies. <laughs> Now we can just take down these coming soon signs, even though there is still a little bit of terraforming that needs to be done this. <laughs> yeah, gonna have to cover all that up. But functionally, the shop is open. If anybody wants to stop by and pick up some gunpowder, we are good to start our business. So I did some villager trading off camera. <laughs> That is a meme that must never die. But yes, more more seriously, yeah, I, I did actually do a ton of villager trading off camera because when Mo Yang said that they were thinking about changing librarians, I kind of panicked because I have had this big plan for a massive villager trading hall and villager area for this season that was like, that was going to be my thing. That was going to be my project. And I didn't want somebody messing with my my thing and my project. Like, that's, that's not cool. So, initially, the plan was to uh, skip the whole starter trading hall thing and just dive straight into these big, massive builds and then fill them with villagers afterwards. But, uh, well, it seemed like a good time for a pivot. 
So we've got, on this side, we've got a ton of these guys that all trade iron. So what I've been doing is I've been... <clears throat> liberating iron from the iron farm at spawn and turning that all into emeralds and then we've actually got all of these librarians on this side and then there are even more over here i have managed to lock in every single uh top level trade like literally all of them i've even got bane of arthropods which that one actually took a ridiculous amount of time i don't want to talk about it <laughs> But I did also go ahead and make a whole bunch of stonemasons. So we've got tons and tons of access to bricks and quartz and all sorts of wonderful, beautiful blocks. These types of ventures usually start off very humbly and this time is no exception. These are the two that I started trading with. I traded with this guy for sticks and this guy for our very first mending books. And uh, this was all that I was going to do. That was the original plan was, was this was it. Just trap those guys in a villager house and have that be it until we start building these massive buildings. But yeah, I mean... <laughs> Plans change, and next thing you know, I am building this. Which, this was like literally a five minute build. Which, I mean, it kind of shows a little bit. There's uh, not much for detailing and stuff. But it is a very functional villager breeder. You can see we've got our villagers in here. All I do is I throw them a couple of carrots. Which is super easy to do. There you go. There you guys go. Have some carrots. And then they distribute the carrots amongst themselves. You can see the beds back behind them. And the, the babies, they try to cross over that little, little gap there. And they can't quite reach it. They fall down into a water stream. And that water stream carries them over into this building right here. And once they grow up, they end up right here. And then I just fish them out with a minecart. Um, this little station here is a, a job sorting station, so I was rotating the trades for the librarians up here for quite some time. <laughs> and then I can just flip that in order to send them on their way. And then they come down here where they live with all of their friends and relatives happily ever after. And this is not a dank hole. This is a very nice, warm, cozy, hobbity sort of hole um yeah but anyway yeah so this is another project that i've been working on and of course the plan is to still continue with the whole grand grand e epic trading hall thing up on the surface that i haven't designed yet but that's okay we, we don't need to talk about that part but yeah this this village up here we're gonna have to demolish this at some point and start building the permanent building structures because our lovely villagers, they can't live in a dank little hole forever. No, 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 no. We need to build them a glorious grand city town thing to live in. Um, I, I might need to take care of the floating house situation first though. <laughs> we'll, we'll see how that goes. We'll see how that goes. But that is going to have to be it for me today, you guys. If you made it this far into the video, thank you so very much for watching. If you enjoyed it, please consider leaving a like, commenting, subscribing, all of that fun YouTube-y stuff. Thanks again for watching, guys, and ta-ta for now.